Hello and welcome to this tutorial, which is an introduction to VLANs. And if you haven't already, you will come across VLANs in pretty much every local area network you come across, especially those that utilize switches. VLANs are fundamental building blocks of layer 2 network design. So understanding them is very important because it helps you understand not only how the network is designed, but then how traffic flows, how a network is partitioned, what kind of behavior, behavior you can expect to see based on the VLAN design. There's a lot of stuff which stems from the VLAN. So grasping this is really important. So we'll jump in and we'll quickly review LANs and broadcast domains. And then when we look to answer the question, what is a VLAN, you're going to see how the LAN and the broadcast domains fit in to answering that question. So we'll take a look and figure out what the VLAN is, and then we'll review all of the benefits of VLANs. And uh, by then, you'll have a pretty good understanding. So let's get started. So this is our local area network, and we have a switch with four PCs. Now recall that a switch by default will forward a broadcast frame, just like a bridge and just like a hub. So that means here we have one broadcast domain. So all of the broadcast packets sourced from any of these PCs will be sent to every other PC. So we use up bandwidth, we use up uh, resources on each PC to process the broadcast frame, and also we use up resources on the switch. This also means, in terms of security, every PC can reach and can talk to every other PC. Well, that may or may not be a problem, depending on your needs. Let's say this PC up here has some pretty sensitive documents on it, and you don't want everyone else to be able to, to access it by default. What do you do then? You still need to connect it to the network because perhaps it needs access to a printer or any other type of resource. Um, what can you do? So we have some, some challenges, and if this network were to grow and to grow, at some point it would just cross a threshold and it wouldn't function very well as one gigantic broadcast domain. And you may hear the term flat network. That usually refers to a network with just a single broadcast domain. Okay, So we can try a few different things to address this problem. We could do physically separate LANs where we could just have two switches and uh, certain PCs are on one, certain PCs are on another. However, this doesn't scale very well and it becomes very expensive. Um, we could do something like introducing a router because we know that each interface on a router is a separate broadcast domain. So we could connect each of these switches to a router. But then how does that grow? What if you have 50 more users? Eventually, you're going to run out of interfaces on your router. You're going to have a lot of expenses in terms of switches. And in terms of administration, it could get a little bit tricky. So this is, these are some of the problems and challenges we have. One of the good solutions, and the solution we're going to talk about, is using VLANs to address this. So let's have a look at VLANs. So the VLAN, well, what is it? A VLAN is a logically separate broadcast domain. Okay, so if a LAN, a flat network, is a single broadcast domain, well, a virtual LAN is just that as well. It's a single broadcast domain. And so VLANs allow you to segment your network in terms of broadcast domains. Well, this could become very useful. Let's say, instead of having one flat network here, we now are using two VLANs. This is VLAN 1 and this is VLAN 2. Each of these is now a separate broadcast domain. So if this PC sources a broadcast packet, it's only going to go to this PC. It will not reach these other two PCs. So we know that only routers can segment broadcast domains. Well, in terms of switches, by default, forwarding frames, forwarding broadcast frames, well, there's a caveat there, and that is, if you're using VLANs, VLANs contain broadcast domains. So switches, as it turns out, are our friends. They actually help us with broadcast domains, and that where, that's where the VLAN comes in. So if we were to think about the switch itself, well, w what does it mean? Well, each of the ports that are used to connect the PCs they would be assigned to the VLAN. So these two ports would be assigned to VLAN 1. These ports here in the configuration 
would be assigned to VLAN too. Also, you can name VLANs in your configuration. So this one up here could be named Sales, and perhaps down on the bottom, it's Engineering. Again, that makes it administratively a little bit easier to figure out what a VLAN means, who's in it. And VLANs can span multiple LAN segments. So let's say our network was big and we had another switch here with another PC. Well, VLAN 2 could actually live over here as well and this VLAN could become extended. So VLANs can span multiple switches. Also, a VLAN is, is oftentimes, because it's associated with a single broadcast domain, it's associated with a single IP subnet. So each one of these VLANs would use different subnet numbers, different IPs. On the top, perhaps, we have 10.10.10.0. A slash 24. Don't worry if you don't know IP subnetting yet. We have a bunch of tutorials to address that. And perhaps down here on the bottom, we have 20.20.20.0, and that's a slash 24. So logically, on a layer 3 level, VLANs help us segment as well. They're, they're associated with that. All right? Some of the benefits of using VLANs are being able to group users based on something other than physical location. Let's say a common set of requirements. So if we go back to the naming convention, these two PCs, there are sales guys. And down here, these two, they're by engineering. So we've grouped them based on the function that they provide for the company. But you could do it any way you want, perhaps not only by team or by function, but perhaps by what they do in terms of accessing certain applications. Also another benefit is we've reduced the size of the broadcast domain. So instead of having four PCs in one broadcast domain, now we have two PCs in two broadcast domains. So we've shrunk in the broadcast domain, and that's a good thing. Less traffic, less resource utilization. Also, there's a big security benefit here. Security policies can be applied differently to each VLAN. So if the sales guys are very restricted in terms of what they can access, but the engineering guys can have access to anything on the network, well, now your security policies on the switch and on other devices on the network, like routers, can be applied effectively. There's also another benefit, and that's separating traffic types in certain devices. Here, we would be enabled to, let's say, keep our voice traffic separated into different VLANs than our data traffic. And because they're in different VLANs, not only can we apply different security policies, but we can apply other different policies depending on how we want to treat that traffic in our network. So we get a lot of flexibility by using VLANs, and the benefits far outweigh using a single broadcast network. And that's it. Those are VLANs, and that is the introduction to VLANs. Let's take a quick summary of what we went over. So we know that a LAN is a single broadcast domain if you don't use anything to break it up. By default, you just have a single broadcast domain. Everything can talk to everything else, and there are a lot of pitfalls to that. A VLAN is a virtual LAN, and that logically separates broadcast domains, and that can be done on the same switch. So you pretty much have separate little LANs, separate virtual LANs, all on the same switch. Get a lot of benefit, benefits by doing that in terms of grouping users, so you're organizing your network, you're starting to lay design organizational benefits here, you are reducing the size of broadcast domains, you have security benefits, and you can treat your VLANs differently in terms of the type of traffic that you expect to see on each one and, and what that traffic should and should not be able to do. And that's it. Those are VLANs. Thanks for watching.